I searched for a Glendon Rush highlight reel on YouTube and I came up short. But, <laughs> but I did stumble upon some historic homers that you served up. Oh, You're yeah. They're certainly a part of history. Next month, it'll be 22 years since this happened. And a long drive to left. Get a load of that one. Way up there. Upper deck. Number 37, another Mac attack for McGuire. Boy, oh boy, what'd you think of that one? He crushed it. I remember I went in on him, I think the pitch before, um, I went fastball in and and he swung through it. And I'm like, well, let's go in there again. And, and it didn't get in there. And man, that ball was absolutely destroyed. It, there's no way. They said it was like 472. I think it was like 572 at least. I'm sure in the moment you're like, ah, oh, damn it, I gave him a bomb. But looking back on all these years later, you're part of history. It's pretty cool. Yeah, part of history. And we ended up winning that game. So I actually had a pretty good start. And uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, I saw ESPN's doing a 30 for 30 on on that summer of that home run chase. So maybe I'll get some uh, airtime in there giving up the bomb. Ten days from now, we'll be marking the 18th anniversary of when you gave up six of Sean Green's record 19 total bases, a double, and a homer on a day in which he went six for six with four taters. It's the greatest offensive output in Major League history, and Glendon Rush had a front row seat. I got whacked early, and I was in the shower and watching the rest of it from in, in the clubhouse, and those those are no fun, especially to watch the rest of your pitching staff wear it after you didn't go very deep, so that was a bad day. Bad day, but uh, on the whole, you had more good days or bad days in your career? What would you say? I was like half and half, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that's a that's a fair assessment. Someone broke down the analytics, and you're one of like these rare examples of a pitcher who pitched better than the record and then the ERA would uh, actually indicate. You know, you can't complain. I, I I was lucky. I was healthy and stuck around a long time. Isolate Night with Scott Fergowski, live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern.